good morning my dear students welcome back 10th physics class today we are going to discuss the topic image formation in lenses using ray diagram before discussing this session we want to study some image formation rules okay the first one the first rule is consider as consider a lens first of all uh, we taking a convex lens okay we have the center of or the midpoint of the lens is called optic center it is represented as p or o okay p or o and this is the principal axis principal axis in principal axis we marking one is center of curvature that center of curvature is taken as 2f and its focus is f why the center of curvature is taken as 2f because we uh, discussed uh, focal length that focal length f equal to r by 2 okay from this what is r r equal to 2f okay this r means the distance between the center of curvature and uh, optic center okay this length is called what radius of curvature therefore here the radius of curvature equal to 2f that means this length is focal length and this is also f okay therefore the total di distance is taken as 2f okay this is f therefore this is 2f and in other side this is 2f sorry f and this is 2f okay this is side 1 and this is side 2 okay uh, for that i am taking this is side 1 therefore this is 2f1 f1 okay and this is side 2 therefore this is f2 this is 2f2 okay the first rule the first rule is when a light is coming from from an object parallel to the principal axis listen when a light coming from from an object parallel to the principal axis after the refraction the refracted ray is passing through the focus okay passing through the focus this is the first rule that is when a light is coming from an object parallel to the principal axis after the refraction the refracted ray is passes through the focus okay principal focus this is the first rule okay in the case of this is in the case of convex and in the case of concave lens in the case of concave lens this is a concave lens and its center is print, uh, optic center it is represented as o this is 2f1 this is f1 and this is f2 this is 2f2 okay the same rule that is when a light is coming from an object parallel to the principal axis after the refraction we have in the case of concave lens the refractor ray is di diverged okay and we extending this point we get the focus okay in, the, in this case this refractor ray passes through f1 okay clear okay and the second rule 
सेकेंड रूल कंसिडर फर्स्ट कॉन्वेक्स लेंस दिस इज ओ एफ टू एफ वन देन सॉरी सॉरी टू एफ वन एफ वन एफ टू टू एफ टू ओके हियर द लाइट रे इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द फोकस ए द लाइट रे इज कमिंग फ्रॉम फोकस दैट लाइट आफ्टर रिफ्रैक्शन इज पॉजिंग पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस दैट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ द फर्स्ट रोल okay here the light ray is passing through the focus after the refraction the light is passing parallel to the principal axis okay principal axis okay this is the second rule okay in the case of con cave lens this is 2f1 F one, F two, and this two F two. We are passing from F one. That light rays are pa uh, passing parallel to the principal axis. Okay, then. third rule third rule if the light rays are passing through the optic center optic center there is no deviation is take place okay if the light beam or the light rays are passing through the optic center that time there is no deviation is take place okay this is the third rule this is same as in the same in the case of concave lens okay this is these are the rules that is image formation rules first the light rays are passing parallel to the principal axis after the refraction the light rays are pass through the focus okay and the second rule if the light beams are coming from the focus after the refraction the light rays are traveling parallel to the principal axis okay and the third one the light rays are passing through the optic center that time there is no deviation is take place okay these are the rules image formation rules okay next we are going to discuss image formation in lenses using ray diagram okay we are discussing first the image formation in convex lens convex lens here let us consider a convex lens and an object is placed in front of a in front of this convex lens okay for example i am taking a candle okay a candle is placed in front of this convex lens and we are identifying or detecting the position of the image and what are the features of that image okay by using this object or this candle is uh, 
moving or the candle position is changing and where the image will form or where is the position of the image formed we detect by using this experiment okay after that experiment we get some conclusion that is discussing here okay first first the object is placed at infinity okay first that object is placed at infinity okay that case the ray diagram is first we draw the convex lens and its focus sorry principal axis and uh, marking 2f1 f1 f2 2f2 okay where is the position of the object at infinity infinity the object is at a infinity okay that is the object is placed at a infinity okay infinity that time we draw the parallel light beams okay that parallel light beams what is the rule if the light beam so parallel to the principal axis after the refraction the light or the refractor rays are passing through f2 or this focus okay here this joining point these two rays are joined at f2 that means here the image will formed okay that means what is the feature the where is the position position of the image is at f2 okay if the object is placed at infinity the image formed at f2 or the position of the image is at f2 okay and the characteristics of this image is first in the case of a convex lens the image is real and inverted real and inverted real means here the image is formed at our screen okay in screen okay therefore this is real it is not imaginary okay and it is inverted inverted means uh, the opposite direction that is if this is the object okay the inverted image means like this okay that is first uh, position of the object is at f sorry position of the image is at f2 and it is real and inverted okay and the size of the image the size of the image is highly diminished highly diminished what is highly diminished very very small okay that is like a point okay like a point okay then what are the characteristics if object is placed at infinity the position of the image is at f2 and it is real and it is inverted and the size of the image is highly diminished okay highly diminished okay and the next case the object is placed at a, or the object is placed beyond 2f1 okay beyond 2f1 that means near to 2f1 okay not at 2f1 near 2f1 okay for that we consider 
convex lens okay then our principal axis this is 2f 1 this is f1 f2 2f2 okay here the object is beyond 2f1 that is the object is placed beyond 2f1 here we draw two rays okay two rays one is the first parallel light beam okay in that case after the refraction it goes through the 2f2 clear next next ray is coming from object is passes through the optic center optic center okay optic center here this joining point is the image formed okay that is here the position of the image position what is the position between f and sorry f2 and 2f2 between f2 and 2f2 and the size of the image the size of the image is diminished diminished here the size of the image is diminished means here in my diagram the size is just a high never mind here the size of the image is diminished means the size of the image is small compared to size of the object okay this here the size of the image is diminished and it is real inverted okay here the size is small okay compared to this object clear okay then next one third one the image sorry the object is placed at 2f1 okay the object is placed at 2f1 clear okay for that we consider a convex lens this black axis ticket center this is 2f1 f1 f2 2f2 okay here in this case the object is placed at 2f1 okay first we draw the parallel light beam and it is passing through f2 okay and the second one is the light is passing through our optic center and it will passes like this okay there is no deviation is take place that is here the object is sorry the image is formed that is if the object is placed at 2f1 that is at a center of curvature the image position is at a 2f2 okay that is the position position of the image were at 2f2 okay the object is placed at 2f1 the image will formed at 
2f2 okay and the size size is same size okay same size that is the height of the object and height of the image is same okay and it is real and inverted real and inverted clear okay then third sorry fourth one fourth one fourth one object between 2f1 and f1 okay between 2f1 and f1 okay consider this is our convex lens principal axis this is 2f1 f1 is f2 and this is 2f2 okay here in this case the object is placed object is placed between 2f1 and f1 here first we draw the parallel light beam and it is passing through our principal focus and next the right light ray passing through our optical center or optic center there is no deviation is take place and like here this joining point okay at this join point the image will formed okay that is in this case that is object is placed between 2f1 and f1 the image formed beyond 2f1 okay beyond 2f1 sorry 2f2 okay beyond 2f2 clear that is the position is beyond 2f2 and the size is enlarged enlarged that is larger size so that is compared to object the size of the image is high okay and it is real and it is inverted is it clear okay then next one the next the object at uh, f1 that is a focus okay listen here to we draw a convex lens and principal axis this is o Power to F one, F one. Okay, here this is F one. Uh, sorry, F two. This is two F two. Okay, here the object is placed at F one. First, we draw the parallel light beams, and it is passing through our F one. Okay, and next. through our optic center okay in this case these two refractor rays are not joined here okay then where is the position of the image yes it is at a infinity because in this these two rays are passing like a parallel light beams okay at infinity it will joint okay that is the position of the image in this case at infinity at infinity 
that is if the object is placed at f1 the image will formed at infinity and the size of the image is highly enlarged highly enlarged and it is real and inverted okay real and inverted okay and the last one in the case of convex lens the last one is the object is placed between between o and f1 okay between optical center and f1 okay for that consider the convex lens this is our o okay then Hmm. This is two F one, F one, F two, and this is two F two. Okay, here the object is placed at this point. First, we draw the parallel light beams, and the light is passing like this okay and the third sorry second ray is like this okay here this two rays are deviating like this okay the okay in this case we are extending this light ray and is joining a point at that point the image will formed okay here what are the features of this image the position of the image is the uh, on the same side of the lens okay on the same side of the lens and the size is highly enlarged and it is not real it is virtual why it is virtual here we are imaging this position okay it is not real that is uh, the image is not formed at or in screen okay and it is virtual and it is erect what is erect erect means non inverted okay erect this is these are the image formation in convex lens okay image formation in convex lens okay next we are going to discuss the image formation in concave lens okay concave lens concave lenses okay the ray diagram first ray diagram here we consider concave lens this is our concave lens this is optic center this is our principal axis this is 2f1 this is f1 this is f2 2f2 okay first of all the object is placed at infinity at infinity okay object is placed at infinity at that time the light rays are like this we draw only the parallel light rays okay in the case of concave lens this light ray after the refraction is deviated okay here we are the in this case in the case of concave lens the real image is not formed okay therefore here we are extending this line 
and these lines are joined at F1. Okay, that means the position of the image is at F1. That is the position. Where is the position? Position at F1. That is, if the object is placed at infinity, the image will form at F1. And the size is highly diminished. Highly diminished and it is not real it is what virtual it is virtual and it is erect okay erect virtual and erect this is the first one in the case of corn cave lens okay and the second one between infinity infinity and o okay between infinity and o for that we consider a concave lens yeah, this is the principal axis this is o Okay, here this is F1 to F2, sorry F1, this is F2 to F2. Okay, position of the object between infinity and O. The I am placing an object here. Okay, in that case we draw the first step the parallel light ray is deviated like this and we are extending that light beam and joining f1 and next i am passing the light through optic center okay here these two lights are joined here at this point we get what the position of the image that is, in this case, the position of the image is between F1 and O. Okay, F1 and O. And the size of the image is diminished. Okay, that is small size. Okay, small size. And it is virtual and erect. Okay, these are the image formation of concave lens okay today we are discussed what image formation in lenses by using ray diagrams in that two sessions are discussed first one is image formation in convex lens and the second one is concave lens okay i hope you all are understand this session and uh, how to draw a ray diagram okay these are the things okay Thank you.